Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing everyone? Another week, another update. But this one's gonna look a little different. If you were here last week, we dropped some new beans mid-season, going back to an old nutrient ratio in our medium. Well, you going crazy. Time's upon us. Should we look and see how things turned out? At this point, you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs, but YouTube is, well, YouTube when it comes to cannabis. Despite this, we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community. If you did want to support the channel a little more, the best way to do that is through our Patreon. With a private Discord, additional in-depth videos, Patreon exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face to face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind blowing. We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. All right guys, so as you know, we're in the middle of our latest season featuring a Lucky Charms and a Caramel Frappe by THC Tone Genetics. But things just got interesting. As we had noticed that we went a little strong on the newts and the plants were a little stunted, we decided to do a do-over. First, we gradually reduced our nutrient ratio while making a new batch of medium, and then we planted another caramel frappe and a cookie dough, both by THC Tone as well. Fortunately for us, that was last week. This week, it's time to go take a peek and see how everything is doing. We have the three gallon pots under the Mars Hydro TSL 2000, set to 325 PPFD on our Apogee PAR meter, which comes to about 17K Lux on our Lux meter. Remember here, Lux isn't gonna be nearly as accurate, but can at least get you in the ballpark to where your plants can tell you if they need a little more or less. Light cycle is set to 18.6 as always in our veg 4x4, with the heat mat set to 80 degrees, and then we wait. Four days usually, but remember here, last week, I am Superfly suggested we go a little further down. Not so much as we had in the past, but still a little deeper to give the plants a better chance of getting rid of those helmet heads before peeking up. Just like that, two down, two up, and no helmet head either. The cookie dough came up a day after the caramel frappe, but we are officially underway here with our mid-season new season or whatever <laughs> just like before took four days for the first so five days for the second and things look good they're usually pretty good for the first four days they've seen the light before needing food too so plant 60 milliliters of water on top in cocoa not soil four days bean comes up four more days she needs another 60 or 80 milliliters the process will continue like that, but this is exciting. Beyond that, our new kale mag is in too by Homegrown Bokashi. Super gentle, but we're going to be careful. Listening to the guys over at Homegrown Bokashi, we're going to start out at a half a dose for the babies. Once they get a little bigger, we'll up it to the full dosage at two tablespoons per gallon of medium by the time they get to late veg. So no more stink. Newts are set right, both seeds are up, no helmet head, and let's see where this goes. As for our current season, well, at this point, you guys already know how that's going. So, they were stunted from having the newts in the starting medium a little too high, and it's going to cost them for their entire life. You see, this is what you get with autos. You have to be on your mark, which is why so many people have an issue with it. However, with each passing mistake, it's just another opportunity to learn. So, what do we do? Well, we keep going as usual and see what else there is to notice along the way. We just top dressed with some Earth Dust Boost as the girls are well into flower now. We also added in some earthworm castings for micronutrients and food for our microbes as well as a little elemental for calcium and magnesium, but mainly magnesium. 
With all that set, it's just water for now, so there's not all that much to report. We will say this though, we top dressed with a quarter cup of base, which works out to be four tablespoons. So one and a quarter tablespoons per gallon, which is a little less than suggested, but they're small. We didn't want to hurt things any more than they were, so we went light. Some of the deficiencies seem to be progressing, so we may give her a little more next week, but that's still up in the air for now. We'll have to see what the plant continues to tell us, and we'll make a more informed decision then. Remember, it's better to let things go another day to think things over and make sure your decision is your decision than to rush and add something the plant doesn't need and make things worse. It's always easier to add more later than to take some out if you go too hot, especially in living soil. Essentially, if you went too hot, you'd be tempted to flush, but this is a horrible idea for living soil. Not only will you wash away any nutrients readily accessible for the plant in the root zone, but you also rinse all your microbes, fungi, and beneficial bacteria out as well. This causes an even bigger slump in the plant's growth as they needed those things to continue to eat. At this point, you're not just waiting for nutrients to become available in the pot. You're waiting for an entire colony to grow, reproduce, multiply, and break nutrients down in the pot at the rate the plant needs. That takes time, weeks even. So like we said, it's always easier to add than take away because you're doing a little more than just washing away the excess newts in the pot when you flush. Either way, that is it for our footage this week and we have officially kicked off our Star Wars grow off. If you're with us, we are so excited. And if not, well, come watch along this year. And if you enjoy it, come back for the ride next year. We're planning on making it a yearly thing. King Palm has recently become the official sponsor of our May the 4th Grow Off by donating an entire box, 20 packs inside, that's two King Palms in each pack, of their watermelon infused wraps to each entrant into the competition, not just for the winners. <laughs> Mind blowing. That's 40 wraps each, and will be enough to keep us smoking for quite some time. Of course, there's other prizes too, but we'll catch you Friday for our Positivity Live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, catch you later, later guys. guys.